It's a, it's a very strange situation, maybe, maybe because it's Christmas time. Uh, but it's not a huge surprise that Germany is slowing uh, quite as strongly to, to the rate that it is because um, they do rely quite heavily on exports, and um, especially exports to, to Europe, which is obviously in a period of austerity. So they're not buying German goods, so it's not a huge surprise to us. And we expect to see that continue throughout 2013. But, but what, how do you play the, the European equity market in particular now? Do you, do you continue buying in in the hope things will improve? Or do you look at numbers like this and say, look, we should stay on the sidelines? Well, the equity markets and risk markets generally uh, seem to be driven by what central bankers are doing rather than what the underlying economies are doing at the moment. So in a period where interest rates aren't going to be going anywhere for some considerable time as central bankers are pumping in liquidity, that do does give a bid to risk assets. So we're seeing the same in sort of corporate bonds, in high yield, in equities. Um, these, these asset classes are doing particularly well. Mm. Um, we, we point a lot to the US and China in particular um, for, for some of the support. How, how convinced are you by what we're seeing in China? Is it any more than just a cyclical uh, mini upswing this? Well, I think from the data that we've seen that China is certainly bottoming out, but I don't think there's any, any real desire from the authorities there to go back to double-digit growth. So we expect the economy to grow somewhere between 7 and 8%, which is what authorities have uh, been seeking there. So I don't think we're going to be going back to the boom years that we've seen over the last five or six years. And what about the U.S.? What's your take there? You know, obviously, we've got payrolls today. Sandy's going to have played a part. The cliff is the context. Um, how, how, do you, how does this fit into your investment strategy? Well, I mean, the, the outcome of the fiscal cliff is pivotal. Um, we expect that um, there's, a, there's, a, well, there's a possibility that they go over the cliff um, with uh, what's going on in the political world at the moment. So we think there is a significant uh, you know, chance of uh, some deterioration in the U.S. next year. I mean, if you see the cliff as somewhere between 4 and 5 percent of GDP, and they're going to have to actually have to take a hit on some of that, um, you know, the, the U.S. is not going to be performing as well as maybe it could have done.